Hello, I'm Yang Shi from Intelligent Big Data Visualization Lab, Tongji University. I'll be presenting our work, Emoji, supporting the sketching of emotional expressions for storyboarding. This work is in collaboration with Professor Nan Cao, Professor Xiao Juanma, Si Ji Chen, and Pei Liu. Storyboarding as an ideation technique uses sequential art to depict essential moments of the user experience. Paradigms include the Snow White project from Airbnb, who used storyboarding to facilitate the explanation and exploration of its product. Airbnb created a list of emotional moments that compromise an Airbnb stay. It built the most important of those moments into stories. The recent advances in data-driven technologies have opened a floodgate of creativity support tools for ideation. However, most of that interest has transferred to brainstorming to support the collection, curation, and presentation of ideas. Storyboarding, on the other hand, has received limited attention in the HCI community. Prior research in data-driven support for storyboarding has focused on constructing user stories. However, few attempts have been made to support sketching user stories for storyboarding. For designers, storyboards act as a graphic narrative device, and sketching plays an important role in increasing the expressiveness of user stories. Our goal is to improve storyboarding tools by supporting sketching the essential visual elements of storyboards, that is, the character's emotion experience. The emotional experience conveys envisioned user attitudes, expectations, and motivations towards the proposed design, in addition to the character's physical activities. Artificial intelligence is leveraged to help designers, especially who are not skilled at drawing, to render emotions in an aesthetically pleasing and expressive manner. In our work, we introduce Emoji, a data-driven design support tool that facilitates sketching emotion expressions for storyboarding, using a deep learning-based expression generation approach. As a user draws a neutral face of an intended character, Emoji can suggest potential character designs based on input strokes from the user, and automatically generate new sketches of the character with six basic expressions. The system also allows the user to interactively specify the type and intensity of expression, the gender of the character, and viewing angle. The user interface of Emoji is composed of two pages, the character creation page and the storyboard creation page. The designer first draws a neutral face of an intended character in the character creation page. Then, he or she draws a storyboard using a sequence of frames in the storyboard creation page. To give a quick glimpse on how Emoji works in action, I will be presenting a demo illustrating how a user experience designer, Alex, uses Emoji to draw a storyboard. In the character creation page, Alex first sketches a neutral face of the character on the drawing canvas. During the process, Emoji suggests face sketches in real time based on the strokes Alex has drawn. The suggestions are displayed for inspirations. Alex can also click the Show More button to update and then explore another set of suggestions. If Alex observes a favorite design, he can use it as the character of the user story and click the Go to Scenario button to jump to the next page. In the storyboard creation page, the character Alex has created is displayed for his reference. Emoji shows a list of generated expressions of the character, with options of three viewing angles and six basic emotions. Based on the script, Alex selects the set expression in front of you and inserts it into the canvas. He finds that the expression of intense sadness 
can better convey the character's emotion experience at the moment. To better align with the script, Alex draws more tears rolling down the character's cheek. He also adds a thought bubble to reveal what's going on in the character's mind. Our approach to generating these expression sketches requires a stroke-based sketch dataset as the training set. To this end, we collected the first large-scale dataset, Face X, which consists of over 200k original face sketches in a vector format. Face X was drawn by five experienced designers in three months, and is available at the following link. To prepare the dataset, we first summarized its essential attributes, including two genders, four facial features, three viewing angles, and seven emotions. The five designers were instructed to draw sketches of four facial features with these identified attributes. They started with sketching one facial feature with a neutral expression in a front of view. Then, the designers sketched six more expressions and two more viewing angles of each facial feature design, resulting in 21 sketches in total for one design. To ensure the expressiveness of sketches generated by our approach, we summarized the salient features for depicting six basic emotions. For example, a ringed nose is often used by designers to convey the emotion of disgust. Finally, our program created all possible combinations that form face sketches and placed the four facial features according to the golden ratio of the human head. For example, the head is 3.5 units high. The eyes are approximately halfway down the head. Our dataset FaceX allows us to adopt a deep learning model, a sketcher, to learn the sequences of strokes and generate high-quality sketches of emotion expressions. The algorithm consists of two components. An enhanced conditional variation autoencoder framework that uses semantic and sequential information of input strokes to support multi-class expression generation and a CNN-based autoencoder module that captures the positional information of input strokes to improve the quality in hand-drawn sketches. To generate multi-class expressions of a neutral phase sketch, we use three types of information as the input of the algorithm. The semantic information is labeled by a one-hot conditional vector representing the input expression type. The sequence information is labeled by a sequence of stroke vectors, capturing the drawing sequence of strokes. It helps predict the next stroke to be drawn. The positional information is labeled by a rest image matrix showing the relative positions of strokes. To control the expression type of the output, the framework uses another one-hot conditional vector, indicating the expression type to be generated. After the encoding process, the four vectors capturing the features of the input sketch and the last stroke point are fed into the decoder at each decoding step. The output of the decoder is fed into a fully connected layer and is further transformed into the parameters of a Gaussian mixture model to predict the next stroke point. Here, the GMM is trained using our FaceX dataset. Therefore, the output sketch contains features that are similar to both the input sketch and sample data from the training set. To support adjusting the intensity of expressions, we modified the algorithm by tuning the conditional vector VC2. Therefore, emoji can generate sketches of expressions with two different intensities, 
mild and intense, without requiring the training samples of both intensities. To evaluate the effectiveness of emoji, we conducted a within-subject user study with 21 designers. In this study, we compared emoji to a baseline of the same functionality, but without AI. In the baseline system freehand, the participants draw a face of an intended character and his or her emotion expressions without the assistance provided by AI. In each task, the participants were provided with a partially finished storyboard, which intentionally left the face of the character blank. They were asked to draw a face of the character and then sketch the character's emotion expressions in each frame. We limited the topics, scripts, and the number of frames in each storyboard. At the end of the study, we had collected 63 storyboards. To evaluate the quality of emotion expressions in these storyboards from another perspective, we recruited 20 external judges. We displayed these storyboards to the judges one at a time and asked them to rate. The quantitative results showed that emoji outperforms freehand in terms of usefulness, ease of use, and quality of sketches. Specifically, our external judges believed that emoji can generate high-quality results regarding aesthetics, viewing angle, expressiveness, and intensity accuracy. However, our designers noted that emoji offers limited flexibility when compared to freehand regarding sense of ownership, creativity, and degree of freedom. In terms of the qualitative results, most participants believed that emoji can support their work in storyboarding. Six participants suggested that given its capability of generating high-quality results, emoji is helpful in cases when presenting storyboards to customers is necessary. During the interview, the participants were allowed to refer to the two storyboards they drew using Emoji and Freehand, respectively. One participant noted that sketching expressions in a mid-profile view with the help of AI can produce a more natural look. One participant suggested that it's difficult to express emotions even using simplified facial features. To echo these comments, the result of peer ratings suggested that more than one-third of the judges misinterpreted the happy face in the group B as a disgusted or a surprised face. Two participants observed that emoji can generate more vivid expressions of different intensities. For example, in group C, the intense surprised face on the right has more enlarged pupils than the mild one on the left. In group D, the intense happy face on the right has more raised lip corners than the mild one on the left. Some participants noted that emoji keeps a good balance between creativity and agency, while some suggested that automatic generation might conflict with the process of ideation. To conclude, our work contributes an interactive data-driven design support tool a large-scale dataset of face sketches, and a controlled user study with 21 designers. That ends my presentation. Thank you for your attention. We encourage you to visit our website and download our dataset for your research.